Hello and welcome to a Nisa Europe online store video. Today we'll be showing you Labyrinth of Refrain Coven of Dusk, a new dungeon exploration RPG from the studio that brought you the Disgaea series. This is the first part of three videos that will delve into the Labyrinth of Refrain, and hopefully by the end you'll have a deeper understanding of everything the game has to offer. This game is all about customizing your party, exploring dungeons and finding loot. And if you've played a dungeon RPG before, then there'll be things that feel familiar, but Labyrinth of Refrain is full of unique twists to keep things interesting. Once you begin the game, you'll be able to create, customize, and name the members of your party. The characters you create in Labyrinth of Refrain are known as puppets. To create a new character, you'll need to infuse puppet parts with souls that can be found on your journeys into the Labyrinth. Souls can be found at various soul clarity levels. The higher the clarity, the stronger your created puppet can become. Once you fuse your soul with a puppet, it's time to select a facet for them. Each facet has its own set of unique skills and abilities, and they'll have their own role to play within a group. To start with, there are six different facets for you to choose from. Some excel at fighting in the front of the party known as the Vanguard, and others are better at staying behind in the rear guard to deal damage and support the group. The Aster Knight is a lance-wielding knight who believes in the power of the stars. Skilled at both offense and defense, this puppet soldier fights with stubborn persistence, refusing to yield even an inch. Aster Knights start with a bonus to their critical rate when using lance weapons, and with their stubbornness skill, they can survive fatal damage, giving them the chance to come back from the brink of death. The Shinobushi is a practitioner of a fighting style from the Far East. This puppet soldier wields two blades with frightening speed. It prefers to fight in the Vanguard, where it can strike from the shadows without warning. Shinobushi have a chance to strike enemies with both weapons while dual wielding, and their shadow step skill makes enemies' attacks more likely to miss them. The Theatrical Star is a glamorous dancer who performs in large theaters and excels at building rapport and resonance chains. With its cursed bow, it provides support by inflicting status effects from the rear guard. The Theatrical Star can double all rapport gains and losses, and with its healing chime skill, it can recover some of its health after each turn in battle and once the battle ends. The Marginal Maze is a versatile Donum user that can provide an offensive or healing presence from either the Vanguard or the Rear Guard. In close combat situations, this puppet soldier's lamp packs a wallop. The Marginal Maze is a great support character that can boost the damage of Donum abilities, and with its knockout skill, it has the chance to deal additional attacks against stunned enemies. The Peer Fortress is a heavy infantry unit that wields a katar that has been modified for defensive use. Specializing in protecting allies in the vanguard, this puppet soldier truly shines in prolonged engagements. The Peer Fortress can recover health when defending, and with the Guardian's soul skill, they have a chance to intercept an attack that was meant for an ally. And the Mad Raptor is a hunter that uses its crossbow to unleash magical attacks of flame, fog, and mud elements. Though physically frail, it excels at dealing large amounts of damage from the rear guard. Mad Raptors gain increased attack each time they avoid damage, and with the crossbow sniper skill, they gain a boost of their speed and accuracy. Additional facets will unlock as you continue through the game. Once you've picked a facet, it's time to give your puppet a name and customize their settings. You can choose from a few different appearance options for each facet, and while exploring the labyrinth, you'll be able to discover even more. When customizing your character, you can select their nature to alter their compatibility with equipment stats. You can pick the voices they use during combat, modify their stat growth options, decide if they'll use an offensive or defensive battle stance, and you'll be able to pick their starting abilities. When you first start exploring the labyrinth, it's a good idea to have at least one character that can defend the party, one that can heal, and at least one that can deal some damage to the enemies. Once you find more souls, you have the freedom to create more characters, and eventually you'll be able to create your perfect party. Once your puppet soldiers have been created, it's time to form your brigade. Your brigade is the group of characters that you'll use when exploring the Labyrinth of Refrain. To form your brigade, you'll need to select a Soul Pact, and then you'll need to assign characters to that pact to form a Coven. A Coven contains up to three attackers that take part in combat, and up to five support characters that can switch places with an attacker if things get rough. During battle, most of the time you'll be issuing commands to a Coven, rather than individual characters but using the attack command will make all attacker characters in that coven use their own individual weapon attack. 
That means it's possible for a single coven to do up to 3 attacks per turn. Characters in a coven support slot don't actively fight, but they'll still receive a portion of the experience gained during combat. Some facets may have additional skills that can aid a coven while they're in a support slot, but a supporter's main benefit will come from the passive skills that activate when a character is placed in a specific slot. Understanding and mastering the support slots will expand your strategic options in battle and give you the upper hand. We did it. All covens are bound to a soul pact and these soul pacts are hidden in the labyrinth, waiting to be discovered. Soul packs let members of a coven access special powers known as Donum. Donum can be used to attack and debuff enemies, enhance covens or even heal brigade members that are at low health. Using Donum will consume your Donum points, but all attackers in a coven will have their Donum points combined, which will be useful for using some of the more costly Donum abilities. All packs have their own unique traits. Some will have less Donum abilities, but will provide more slots for your characters to fill. And some will have powerful passives that boost your stats, but may restrict the type of characters that are allowed to benefit from them. Soul Packs will change the way you think about party formations, and it creates endless possibilities for organizing your covens. You can have multiple covens prepared for the different situations you may encounter while exploring the labyrinth of Refrain, but a brigade can only contain 5 covens at a time. Each Soul Pact has a coven cost that consumes your reinforcement when you head into the labyrinth. You have a total of 100 reinforcement that can be spent on various actions within a dungeon. So having a brigade with a high coven cost will reduce the amount of time you'll be able to spend on a single trip into the labyrinth. But the good news is a soul pack's coven cost will be reduced as you continuously use a coven and gain more experience with it. As you progress deeper into the labyrinth you'll discover even more soul packs with more donum for your characters to use. So explore and see what you can find. This is just the first step towards preparing yourself for the unforgiving but rewarding dungeons in Labyrinth of Refrain. Next time we'll head into the Labyrinth itself to take a look at dungeon exploration and combat. Labyrinth of Refrain Coven of Dusk is available now on the PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch and Steam. On our online store we sell both the standard edition with a soft cover art book and an exclusive limited edition collector's box for the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. This collector's box contains a two disc original soundtrack, a four lapel pin set, a hardcover art book with a metal bookmark, a deck of tarot cards and a copy of the game. Check the link in our description to visit our store and if you want to stay up to date with all the latest Nisa Europe information, our social media links can be found in the description box too. To be the first to know when our next video is available, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you receive our updates. And if you know anyone that would be interested in playing Labyrinth of Refrain Coven of Dusk, share this video with them so they can see what it's like. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next Nisi Europe Online Store video. Yeah.